Franklin High School. My name is Brianna. And I'm Malik. This week we'll be discussing various things that are happening around Franklin High School. Plus we're bringing back some old segments. Who's that teacher? Make sure to watch the rest of the show to figure out who the mystery teacher is. Some of y'all may not know this club, but they have definitely been working hard all year long. As part of the new clubs this year, Mr. Carini is adding Math Club to the many FHS activities. The purpose of Math Club is really for uh, offering us students an opportunity to answer really rigorous questions and work together in small groups that just combines a lot of what we do in different math classes. Although starting out small, Mr. Carini plans on expanding the program and doing more competitions in the future. The Wisconsin Math Council uh, offers a competition that occurs in March, so we do that for sure. And then there is a nationwide competition that a couple of our students participated in and scored very well. We're going to enroll in the same competitions basically. Last year we had a lot of success. Uh, two of our students scored in the top 10 for Wisconsin. One of our students won. It's just a good opportunity for students just to enhance their math knowledge. Stop by Mr. Carini in room C233 if you want to add math club to one of your extracurricular activities. Do you ever wonder who those mysterious people who write for the homepage of our Chromebooks? Here's a little something you should know. Many of you may know about the Saber Slate, the homepage of the district computers, but do you know about the people behind it? Meet the Saber Slate staff, the unseen life and blood of the website we've all come to love. They're all hardworking people who meet every Monday to discuss possible news articles. First, we um, talk in our meeting here about different ideas we have for articles and we assign an idea to a person. They will um, end up interviewing anybody they need to interview and gather all the necessary information and then write up a rough draft, which we then put up on a WordPress account that all of us have. And then Chrissy usually um, edits the articles and makes sure that all the grammar and spelling is all set as much as we can. And then we post them up on the page for everybody to read. Next time you get a chance, check out saberslate.org for more articles about FHS. If you're interested in writing, editing, or photographing for the Saber Slate, email them at fhsnewspaper62 at gmail.com. This week we have another Saber Reads brought to you by Junior Just Luck, bringing a brand new book to us. Hi, I'm Jess. I recently read The Young Elites by Marie Lu. And it's a story about how this girl, Adelina, develops superpowers after surviving the plague. And then she's put on death for these superpowers because the people are scared of it. So, a group called the Young Elites comes and saves her, who are kids just like her. She then begins to train with them in order to overthrow the king, because the king is killing other people like them, and he really has no reason to, except for the fact that he fears them, but some of them are good. Um, I would recommend this book to people who like action novels and also with a little bit of fantasy, but people who aren't afraid for it to get a little dry in the middle because she has to train her superpowers so it can get boring at some points, some points. but I actually stayed up reading this book till like 2 a.m. in the morning once it finally got good, so I would highly recommend it. Remember that if you have any books that you would like to share with your peers, make sure you email Natasha at natasha.capis at franklinsabers.org. Students in the CP Langen Comp class are putting on an event to show what they are reading. Just a high school girl, living in a high school world. She took the old school bus going anywhere. Just a high school boy, born and raised on road.
many of you have been wondering what this FHS Reader Showcase is, and that makes sense because it's the first one that we've had. Here's how it works. All of our CP Langen Comp students have been reading a nonfiction book of their choice this quarter, and they're ready to tell you guys all about it. So they've created book booths, and those book booths are going to be set up in the library all day this coming Friday. So we hope you join us on Friday, March 11th. As you will walk around, you'll notice that they'll have little takeaways like bookmarks or some treats to enjoy, and as well as possibly finding your next book of choice to read. Check out the book showcase in the library this Friday. Do you know who that teacher was featured earlier? It's Mr. Wasmiller. That's all the time we have for this week on the Saber Roar. I'm Brianna. And I'm Malik. I hope you guys all have a great Tuesday and we'll catch you on the next one. Right,